Hello everyone, Tweedledumdy here, and today we'll be talking about the best neutral legendary cards to craft for beginners. And yes, you heard me correctly, I specifically said legendary cards or specifically gold cards that cost 800 scraps to craft, as not all gold cards are created equal. We will be making a series of videos about this, so stay tuned for our epic cards crafting guide in the future. Now, Please keep in mind that this is of course my personal opinion as someone who has played the game for 2 years now and in no way am I saying that the cards I will be mentioning are the best cards we have currently in game. This video is aimed straight towards beginners where aside from power level, we will be taking into account the card's versatility and being able to be added to numerous other decks. So beyond the current meta and the card's power level, we will be looking at these cards with that lens. So now, let's get started. By the way, these cards aren't particularly ranked in any order, so if you do not have enough scraps to craft all of them, just craft the ones you think you'll be using the most in the decks you plan to play. Our first card is Royal Decree, a 10 provision special card that lets you play any unit from your deck. This card has always been popular and is a powerful tool that lets you deal with almost any situation as long as you have the unit to deal with it in your deck. The versatility that this card can give you makes it our first card to recommend for beginners to craft. Next up is Muzzle, or as it is labeled in the deck builder, Vigo's Muzzle. It is a 12 provision special card that locks an enemy unit with 5 or less power and seizes it for you. For new players who aren't familiar yet, seize is a mechanic that moves an enemy unit from their side of the board to your side of the board. Think of it as if it's mind control. This card is very useful in preventing engines from either growing or dealing more damage, or simply as a card that can get you a maximum of 10 points. There will always be useful situations to use this card and it is versatile enough to be added to many kind of decks. Next is Triss Telekinesis, our first gold unit in this list. Triss is a 4 power unit for 11 provisions, that lets you create and play a bronze special card from either player's starting deck. Now, create has some RNG in it, but more likely than not, you should be able to see something useful from this selection, and the fact that it can offer you options is another thing that makes this card so powerful. Once again, this card is versatile and lets you deal with many types of situations you might encounter. The fourth card we have is Karathi Heatwave. It is a 10 provision special card that lets you banish either a unit or an artifact, which means as long as you can target it, you can remove it. You can use this card to target high power units or engines that might grow or threaten your own board. The fact that the enemy also cannot resurrect banished units or artifacts is just an added bonus to this already versatile card. Finally, we have Geralt Igni. Unlike the other cards on this list, Geralt Igni is a lot more situational and requires some setup to be fully effective. Gigni, as some people call him, is a 2 power unit for 11 provisions that destroys the unit or units on an enemy row with the highest power as long as the row has a total of 20 or more power. Even though this card has its risks, it is often not that hard to find yourself in a situation where you will find value in playing Geralt Igni. For that, this card gets included in our list. And that's it, our top 5 neutral legendary cards that I recommend beginners to craft first. Honorable mentions include Renew, Lambert Swordmaster, Land of a Thousand Fables, Dandelion Poet, Shoop's Day Off, and Geralt Professional. All the cards I've mentioned are pretty versatile and in the case of Shoop's Day Off, it enables you to experiment and have fun with different kinds of decks and factions that should make your games more interesting. So what do you guys think? Do you have other neutral legendary cards that you think should have made the list? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please leave a like if you like this video and if you want to see more, consider clicking on the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye!